Some residents in Hartonia are sending a message to the Department of Corrections about not wanting a new juvenile detention facility built in their town. NBC 26's Ryan Curry talked with the man who lives next to that planned facility. We just don't want it in our neighborhood and the township doesn't want it. Russ Oberstadt has lived in Hortonia for over 30 years, but soon his view of a wide open field will turn into a view of a new juvenile detention center. Located right off of Highway 15, Governor Evers announced back in March plans to put the new facility right next to Oberstadt's house. But he says no one told him this would be happening. It wasn't heard of from our normal chain of command or from our local town. It was from the, from the media. This side of the green grass is owned by the Oberstadt family, but once it turns over to this old cornfield, it's state-owned land. And only 150 feet down that way is where the state says they plan to build the detention facility. Well, the first thing was, was safety, and we were concerned about who would be in this facility, but also who is coming to this area to visit. All over town, people are putting out signs expressing their concerns about the new seven-acre facility. But with the land being owned by the state, there is not much residents can do to prevent this from happening. And in the neighboring town of New London, Mayor Gary Hankey says this new facility will help the area. There are going to be 70 employees. Uh, they're going to be building homes in the area or moving into existing homes in the area, uh, spending money in the area, buying gas, shopping downtown, buying automobiles. But, you know, we won't be able to have, you know, the, the backyard enjoyment that we used to. In Hortonia, Ryan Curry, NBC 26. The Wapaka County News reports that at a meeting last month, the town board chair said the board planned to sue the state to try to stop that project. And the state correction secretary apologized for how the announcement of the project was handled. And the secretary vowed to ask for community input going forward. 